Get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice. Hello, this is Peter Stewart. So yesterday we were talking about post-dialogue attributions. Today, character relationships in audiobook narration. Yeah, we're talking about audiobook narration. Done it for the past couple of weeks. Do it for another few days. And then we're going to be moving on to a whole host of different topics. We'll come to that, as I say, in a couple of days on Get a Better Broadcast podcast and voice over voice. So a further step may be to note the relationships between characters so you get your narration spot on. Now, as we've seen before, we adapt our vocal style depending on who we're talking to. 30-year-old Sam will speak to their mother in a different way that they speak to their spouse or friends or child. So consider who is in each scene and who each person interacts with because that'll affect how you voice them up. Also, relationships change over time. Part of the arc of the storyline of the book may be that I know two friends fall out and make up, and in doing so, how they speak to one another will reflect this over the course of the chapters. Notate anywhere, when you're reading the volume in advance, where a reading style shift is required. Sama hung her legs into the cool water, leant back and raised her face to the sun. Suggests a slower pace, for example. More intense scenes might require a faster narration. Tomorrow, what you do at the end of an audiobook recording. Yet we tie up our audiobook narration series tomorrow on Get A Better Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>